Hey everybody, welcome back to Depressing Matters. I'm Scott, thank you for tuning in. Um, today we're gonna to take a look at uh, Analog Productions release of Ted Nugent, um, the solo debut um, album. And um, before we get to that, if you're new, please consider subscribing. Hit subscribe and notification so you'll be sure to get uh, notified when any new content comes up. So um, I was going through um, my wish lists at, uh, at Acoustic Sounds and also Music Direct. And the reason I was doing that was, you know, I kind of like have held off on buying a lot of jazz titles lately. Um, I'm starting to be a little more selective, as I mentioned in the FOMO video. And I wanted to see what else was out there that I had been interested in at one time and see, you know, maybe there's some other things that would be of interest to, um, to the, my viewers. And um, I came across this. Now, I had been going through the list and I was like really kind of shocked at how um, there's so much that's backordered or awaiting repress that I really had to kind of dig through to find some things that uh, are still available. And I was delighted to see that this is available um, in a 33 and a 45. So let me tell you a little bit about this release. Um, it's uh, been mastered this time by Ryan Smith at Sterling Sound uh, using um, George Marino's original notes for the mastering sessions. And they have found the original analog tape um, it was remastered in George's mixing room with uh, Marino's VMS 80 lathe. It's on 180 gram vinyl and it's pressed at QRP. Um, and it, this was released in 1975. Uh, in 1975, I was probably mm, 16, I think. Um, so, you know, they say when the music you listen to uh, during that time period uh, really always resonates with you. And I found that to be the case with this for sure. Um, when I was in my group of friends at that time, we all listened to this over and over. Um, we all thought it was really, really great. And uh, I still do think it's great. I think it's um, definitely his best album and one that um, still holds a lot of pleasure for me. Um, I was really taken back to that time and it was a lot of fun, I have to say. Um, I bought the 33 edition. Um, there's also a 45. Um, and after I heard the 33, I was like, wow, um, this is a killer album. It's it's a monster. <laughs> the sound, um, I, I mean, I don't have a direct comparison because I don't no longer have an original pressing. That's long gone. But, you know, we were listening to the original pressing, which was on Epic. It was not on the greatest vinyl. Um, and we're listening to it on whatever system, low end system we had at that time. But hearing it today in an audiophile mastering on a better system is uh, a revelation. I was like so surprised. And I thought it was an inspired choice for um, Analog Productions to do this title. Um, they do pick some interesting rock titles. I'm also going to pick up um, their Steppenwolf um, gold reissue and take a, uh, take a listen to that as well. But they did a nice, a really nice uh, job on this edition. Uh, it's done in a gatefold, which unlike the original, was in a single pocket. Um, they've included the lyrics. Sorry for the reflection. And uh, replicated the original uh, epic label. And it's, you know, from the opening notes. Now, like the, the, the first cut is called Stranglehold. And that was always, I always considered that to be the, uh, ma you know, the masterpiece of the album. And it, and it is, it is, it's, it's a long extended, um, track and it really shows off um first of all the production and you know second of all his playing is is amazing on, on this album the sound on this track is amazing and i and i thought 
wow. Once I heard this, I was like, maybe I should have got the 45 because um, Stranglehold has its own side, you know. But um, I'm, I think this is really, really um, a good in between for this type of album. I don't think I need the $60 45, but this is really, really impressive. The sound just leaps out of the speakers. Uh, the drum sound is really crystal clear and up front and a lot of impact. Uh, the vocals um, are front and center and crystal clear. Nice sound stage. Just um, a great um, uh, bass line throughout the thing. It's like the bass is, is monstrous and it should be. It should be um, overpowering and it is, but it's not um, muddy or or indistinct in any way. It's it's nice solid base foundation for this record, which is important. Um, and the songs go from one strength to another. I mean, Storm Troopin' is the second song, Hey Baby, Just What the Doctor Ordered, which is, you know, kind of a favorite uh, when he did this live. Um, Snakeskin Cowboys again, Motor City Madhouse. It's really, almost all killer. Um, there's one or two weak cuts right at the end. Uh, really one, you make me feel right at home. It's a little bit, a little bit below the rest, but wow, I was so surprised how much I enjoyed it. And I think you would too. If you, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> a little, a little horse from, um, from, I don't know what, from COVID or whatever. <laughs> um, but, um, still getting over it, I guess. But, um, you will um, be thrilled if you love this album when you were a kid and you want to hear it like you've never heard it before. This is the edition to get. It's, it's amazing. And um, Ryan Smith did a fabulous job mastering this. QRP did a wonderful job pressing it. It's absolutely silent and centered. And, you know, I, I suppose Stoughton did the gatefold. It's not high gloss, but it's beautiful. And really, um, really surprising. Really, really nice surprise. And I'm glad I got it. I'm super glad I got it. It's a nice addition to rebuilding my classic rock collection. And I couldn't think of a better title from Ted Nugent, for sure, to, um, to include in the collection. So uh, high recommendation if you are interested in it. Um, you know, if you haven't heard the music before, definitely check it out on streaming. But it won't be anything like this. I'm telling you, this is going to blow you, blow you away. And I'm sure, you know, I looked at the reviews um, on here and Discog, and everyone loves loved the 33. And the few that have the 45 say it's even better. So it probably is. I don't know, but uh, I'm very happy with the 33, and I think you would be too. So um, thank you for uh, tuning in and watching. Um, this is Scott for The Pressing Matters. Have a great day.